Mr. Bailey went to town hall in Utahville to talk with Chief Richard Combs about a traffic ticket Combs had given his daughter, Brianna, here to my left. According to an employee of Utahville, Mr. Bailey was polite and he was also respectful. And his behavior was indeed appropriate. When he was ushered into Combs' office, Combs went to his vehicle and he retrieved an arrest warrant for Mr. Bailey. Although the warrant was dated March 18, 2011, Bailey was never informed of the warrant and there were no efforts to serve it. The charge in the warrant was obstructing justice, but an examination of the warrant really showed that it was invalid on its face. Nevertheless, Mr. Combs surprised Mr. Bailey with the warrant and Bailey exclaimed, you've got to be kidding me, and he left. Combs followed Mr. Bailey to the truck. Mr. Bailey turned on his engine to Mr. Bailey's truck. Mr. Bailey turned on his engine, and as he started to back away, and the slightest extent of starting to back away, Combs shot him three times with a 40 caliber handgun, and the result was indeed fatal. I've been authorized by my client, since this matter has had such public interest, to inform you that the case is now settled for $400,000. I don't know if there will ever be any real closure for us, but this, this helps, this helps. And you were there that day with him. What, did, what was it like, because you, you were one of the last ones to see him, what has it been like for you the last couple of years as you not only dealt with his death, but then dealt with fighting for, for some type of accountability? Um, the past three years have been very hard. losing a father, but it just it seems like I lost everything, sight of everything, as far as what I want to do, as far as being there for my mom and my sister, it's been hard. It stemmed from Brianna uh, being stopped by Officer Combs because of the tag light being out. And it was late at night, and so she, naturally she was concerned about her own personal safety, so she did what daughters often do, she called her dad. And her dad came out to talk to her and, and find out what was going on. And that, unfortunately, led to a verbal altercation between Mr. Combs, Officer Combs, and Mr. Bailey. Uh, Combs then called for backup. Numerous police officers came out. And Mr. Bailey, no doubt, he was loud and to some extent arguably disrespectful. But he never used any profanity towards Officer Combs. But here's the point. If any of the officers thought that he had been violating the law or committed a crime in their presence, they could have and they should have arrested him immediately. But they didn't do that. So Mr. Bailey was told to leave and he left. And several days later, Combs obtained a warrant for obstruction of justice, which he never served, as indicated in my opening remarks. And it's almost as though he's laying there and waiting for Mr. Bailey to show up or some, some type of scenario to develop where he could surprise the man. And that's exactly what happened. Mr. Bailey go, went to the town hall to perform his civic duty, to check on the status of this ticket for his daughter, because she was supposed to have court the next day. Uh, he was pretty much going to go there to pay the ticket and get the matter behind the entire family. And when he goes there to do that as a good citizen and a good father, he's then confronted by this officer who tells him, oh, by the way, I have a warrant for your arrest. And, uh, and the fact that Bernard Bailey, was shot and killed under these circumstances, unarmed. It's an indelible stain upon the fabric of justice, not just for Orangeburg County, not just for South Carolina, but for America itself. That should not happen, and it should not have happened in this case. We have to follow, and I'm sure that there was some alternative to what he did, other than what he did. It could have been something else he could have done besides um, shooting an unarmed. Um, and let me also chime in here on that question. This incident, as horrific as it is, is not a reflection upon the quality of police officers in the state of South Carolina, Orangeburg County, or, or, or America for that matter. This incident is a reflection upon the judgment used by Richard Combs, the defendant that we sued in this particular case. This horrible incident is also not a reflection of the state of uh, race relations in the state of South Carolina. Some people would try to paint it that way, but I can tell you it is not a reflection of that. 
It is a reflection of the judgment used by Richard Combs on this particular incident. Um, now, if the argument is that he shot him because he was black, if there is that argument, then only Richard Combs can answer as to whether or not that is true. I can't read his mind. My point is, if Mr. Bailey was green and polka dotted, he would be entitled to the same amount of justice and this matter would be just as horrific because he was a citizen who was unarmed. And we expect the law to protect and to serve, not to simply shoot an unarmed man three times unjustified.